What's up guys, Chili Moose here. Thank you for tuning in. This is the snowstorm of 2021, the first one of the year. New Jersey is in a state of emergency. So it's coming down. It's been, today's Monday, like 10 o'clock-ish. It's been snowing since yesterday afternoon, late afternoon. As you can see, we got the snow plow out there. He's like, this guy's been there for like three hours. He's probably sleeping. But today I'm gonna do the review of the Cub Cadet 3X30HD. So stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here we have the Cub Cadet 3X30HD. So this is, um, I think, I guess you could say as big as it comes without getting into the industrial size Cub Cadets. So this is 420 cc's, overhead valves, cast iron sleeve, electric start. Three stage. There you go. And for those of you in the market for a snowblower, I figured I'd make this video so you guys could get an idea of what you're working with, what you need um, for this type of weather here. Now this snow that's falling today is uh, very light and fluffy. Very light and fluffy, you can't even, can't even make a, uh, a snowball out of it. Um, I'm not gonna spray any lubricants, any silicone or anything like that inside the uh, snow blower. I see a lot of people do that to uh, make it um, slide easily so that the snow doesn't get stuck in there. But I wanna do like an honest review, you know, with no, uh, as if you were to buy this right from the store and go and start snow blowing. So yeah, if I run in, into anything, I'll let you guys know. Uh, this model here has the, um, it's got a headlight and it's got the heated grips, but I still haven't figured out how to work the heated grip. So, you know, I don't know. I haven't even read the manual, so it's probably my fault, but either way, you know, I'm, just like your average Joe here, like many of you folks out there, you know, that just want to get the job done and be done with it, you know? All right, see how it goes. All right, let's see how tall this snow is. So as you can see, it's drifting from the right hand side of your screen to the left. This seems to be the highest point here. So we are right just shy of one foot. Okay. And like I said, it's still coming down. It's supposed to continue snowing until tomorrow. And I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a cold start here, so you guys see how easy or how hard it is to start this uh, snow blower. So let's see here. So we got 8.8 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna put it on Fahrenheit. And we got 15.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a cold snow blower right there. Let's see how long it takes me to start it. I'm not going to use the electric start, although you can. But I'm not going to use it, you know, because like I said, I just want to do an honest review here. So let's see if I could get this started. All right, so we'll go full choke. It says primer three times. And 
I'll go to rabbit mode. And I'll start pulling. Hey guys, sorry about that, my phone died. I had this whole spiel that I gave you guys, but either way, I got the phone plugged into the charger now. Let me finish this job, and then I'll tell you my thoughts on this snowblower.
All right, guys. So there it is. Let me show you what we got. So, as you can see in the beginning, I got stuck because I was feeding the snowblower too much snow. And I was in uh, speed number two here. So I was in number two and uh, the snowblower is just getting clogged. So I pulled it back to one and then I was just kind of like feathering the throttle here just so that it would creep up, you know, throw the snow, creep up. And then once I did my first pass, then on my way up, I was just like doing like half of the, uh, half of the snowblower. Um, and then as you can see, as I would go back and forth, that would give me a little more room for the snowblower to breathe. So as you come back, you know, back and forth, you just, uh, you know, don't, don't feed the snowblower too much snow because it creates like too much of a load on the engine. And then that's when you start getting stuck. Um, but again, I didn't spray any uh, lubricant. Uh, some people spray silicone or they spray like spam, you know, the cooking spam. Uh, but I didn't do that, you know, just uh, just come out here, start it up, snow blow. Um, I'm gonna move the, the cars, bring them onto this side and then do this area. But uh, that's pretty much it, you know, uh, pretty happy with this guy. You know, like I said before, I uh, purchased it in uh, 2016. And this is like the uh, first uh, big snowstorm that I've had with this snowblower. It's working out pretty well. Um, and as you saw, uh, I was sitting here in my garage, all cold, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Started right up. So no complaints with that. Uh, but I am a little cold. I was not prepared to come out here. I got my sneakers on. But uh, I'm going to finish this up. And, uh, you know, if you like what you saw here, subscribe to the channel hit that notification button and oh one more thing i'm launching a new channel it's called the free giveaway channel you know just for fun you know i know uh a lot of people out there like to get free stuff so check that out if you can peace see you next time guys i was reviewing the tape Reviewing the video footage that I just shot and I noticed that the third stage wasn't spinning. So perfect, perfect, perfect scenario here for me to show you how easy it is to change these pins. Follow me. So look, as you can see, there's no pins on these guys. Let me see if it's uh, in the angle there. Yep. All right, so. Got some pins here. Here they are. Right here. I don't know if you can see that. These are the pins. All right, that's one guy right there in the back. And here's the other guy. Yeah, let me get the camera so you guys can see.
All right, here we go. So this is the pin that I just installed there. Right there, you see them? And then there's the other one. So I'll just come up right here. And of course, there it is. Let's try to get a better angle here. There it is, right in there. Okay. And then you put the clip in there. See if I could do this and hold the camera at the same time. All right, there you have it. Boom. Now it's all working. These guys are all good. These guys are all good. So now, oh, and here are the uh, headlights for you guys uh, curious about it. All right, so let's try it again. This time with the third stage working. What's up, buddy? Uh, all right, guys, you ready? Say what's up to my my friends in YouTube land. Oh, what's up?
just want to talk to you guys about a few things here that I neglected to mention. So these guys here. So this blade down here you could replace. This is what scrapes up the uh, the driveway. You know, it gets uh, deep down into the the snow there. And this here is your height adjustment. And these guys are replaceable as well. And then they sell some attachments that go right here, where if you're getting uh, you know a lot of a lot of snow it'll cut through the snow i mean i don't know what that does but i figured i'd mention that to you guys so here you have the three stage this uh this guy in the back that's what shoots it out of the chute and then these two in the center is what brings it up into the chute these guys on the side this what brings it into the center that's that's what gives you the three stages and again I know this this light here lights up when you pull the uh, the right hand trigger like you kind of like like tap it and this will light up I haven't figured out how to use that light there but I don't know, maybe it's just, uh, maybe the, the light is out or maybe I just, um, you know, again, I gotta read the manual. But I'm pretty happy with this. Again, this is like the biggest size that uh, you could get for homeowners without getting into the industrial sizes of the Cub Cadet. I've had it for, uh, since 2016 and it's working pretty well so if you guys have any questions feel free to comment if uh, if you notice that I'm doing something wrong and and you want to give me a, a little help feel free to comment as well oh look at this here it says uh, trigger control power steering so how this works is if I hit this guy, it'll lock the, uh, the right wheel and kind of drift the snowblower towards the right. And if I hit this guy, it does it to the left. And this here is for the auger. And again, you know, I keep that running at all times. This guy here.